Nature Hacker, and this is your world. Um, today I'm going to talk about Rockets Don't Work in Space Part 8. Um, the last part, I talked about how um, basically the gas in a rocket with <clears throat> no atmospheric pressure um, the gas can go out in right angles basically and just cause no net change in momentum and if the gas has no net change in momentum then um, then there will be you know obviously no force involved and if there's no force involved then the um, the rocket can't go forward and um, and that makes sense because the equation for force is the change in momentum times time. I believe that is the, one of the equations. Um, uh, impulse equals change in momentum and I believe it's impulse times time is equal to force. So without the gas changing momentum, you know, if the center of the mass of the gas stays the same, which it will, with no atmospheric pressure, my last video showed that the water jet, it shooting out a jet <clears throat> into water did not propel the hose forward because the water left the nozzle and it just left at right angles. Instead of shooting back, there was no pressure holding that stream together. The surface tension of the stream is the pressure that holds the stream together and allows there to be a change in momentum. As the liquid moves, the moment um, the momentum changes, right? Or as it accelerates, the momentum changes. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, so without that surface tension of the water, putting that water jet in the bucket of water destroyed the surface tension and allowed the liquid to leave the nozzle at any angle it wants. And if it does that, it will leave at an angle that causes no net change in momentum because every, you know, everything tries to achieve the state of the, you know, least energy state. So it's not going to change its momentum if it doesn't have to. If there's no surface tension in the stream, it's not going to change its momentum. So that's what we learned last time. All right. So this time I want to talk about a couple things that yeah, I want to continue talking about the no net change in momentum as it applies to a gas. Um I want to talk that in a vacuum, <clears throat> a gas shot in a vacuum will go around propeller blades. It will actually go around propeller blades. And um, a good way to think about it going around propeller blades is that um, on the atomic scale, Newton's laws don't apply. Okay, and that little aspect there was discovered by Chris Czar 579 Chris Czar579. He has, I would say, graduated from my instruction on this topic and he has mastered this topic so join me in encouraging Chris to start making some videos of his own on this because he has mastered it and he can take it in a whole nother direction than what I um, where I would go with it so we can work together we can both make videos and that would be cool all right, so um, let's keep talking about no net change of momentum. So um, a gas, when it expands, you know, you have a gas right here. And let's say you open up, you, you remove the vessel the gas is in, and it starts expanding, right? It goes out in all directions. Is the center of mass moving? Of course not. The center of mass doesn't move. The center of mass of a gas will not move. Now... If at all possible, the gas will not, the center of the gas will not move. I mean, that's just, that's just, you have to understand about the basic principles of the world, okay? You know, if you put a ball on a table, on a perfectly flat table, it's not going to move. 
You know, there's not going to be, you know, things are at their lowest energy state. You're not going to, you're not going to make, you're not going to have a ball push itself up a hill. You know, it's just not going to happen. You're not, it's not going to go to a higher energy state. Okay, so that gas will just expand in all directions and the center of mass of the gas will not move. Now you could be like, oh, well, if I open one side only, you know, instead of just opening it fully up, if I open just one side of it so it's an open box like this, that the gas is going to just leave that box and just go out in one direction. Well, you would be wrong. Um, just think about it. You put some perfume in, uh, in a box and that's like this, you you know spray some perfume into it right do you think people to this side over here are going to end up smelling perfume as well as people on this side yeah it's going to expand out of that box in all directions you know that's just the way gas is it's not going to just all of the perfume isn't just going to shoot out in that one direction because of newton's laws or some some weird understanding like that okay it's not going to happen it's going to expand out in all directions. People over there are going to smell it just as much as the people over there. Okay, so that's just the fundamental understanding. Now, um, so that's what's going to happen. In space, you have a pressurized gas chamber. You open up one side or nozzle or whatever. The gas is going to escape in all directions into space, just like the perfume in the one open-sided box experiment. It's going to go all around. It's not just going to be shot out in one direction. It's not going to happen. Now, how about a rocket on Earth, right? Because a rocket on Earth, it's shot out in one direction. Now, why is that? Well, that's because there is air pressure, and that air pressure is pushing in on all sides. So it holds the air pressure holds that stream together and makes it go out in one direction. The air pressure is holding the stream together just like water the surface tension of the water is holding the stream together when we put the the water jet in water the stream is no longer held together and it just goes out in all directions and there's no net change of momentum okay so it cannot produce a force when there's no net change of momentum because change in momentum times time is equal to force all right, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> without an atmosphere, uh, the gas is going to expand in all directions. It's not going to be able to apply a force. Um, yeah, and another thing that we need to realize is that the gas doesn't have any friction in in a vacuum in joule-free expansion. Let's say you shoot gas against a plate right um, you shoot gas against a plate let me see if I can do something here so in space you're let's say you're shooting some gas against the plate right do you think you're gonna move that plate with that gas no because what's happening is free expansion says that the gas will expand without doing work okay so the gas a gas exposed to a vacuum will not do work you can't do work on a gas that's exposed to a vacuum and the gas itself cannot do work so the gas would not be able to push that plate and the reason why is because there would be no friction there's nothing making the gas particles interact to push that plate you know the gas will just it won't it won't even really touch the plate it will the gas will always um, will follow the path of least resistance you know gas is it's a, a quantum thing you know it's not just a billiard ball you know a gas is a quantum thing you remember brownian motion where you know these molecules are just vibrating around if it's getting resist, if it's sensing resistance in any direction, it will go in a different direction. It's not going to push anything, because if it goes, 
If it goes this way, it has to push this, right? But if it just goes that way, it doesn't have to push anything. So it's not going to push anything unless it has to. And in atmosphere, atmospheric pressure is what forces it to go that way because there's atmospheric pressure um, uh, preventing the molecule from going this way. You know, so it's like, it's like, oh, I could either push here or I could push there, but this pressure up here is higher than the pressure here, so I'm just going to push here. So it applies a force. Um, yeah, so let's see. Do, do, do. So um, using that knowledge, we can say that in a vacuum, you cannot use a gas to blow a fan. You know, if, if you have fan blades here and the gas is coming at it, um, it's not going to push the blades, you know, to turn the fan. It's just going to go around them. And you can think about this as Bernoulli, um, the Bernoulli principle, which is, you know, in a wind tunnel, your gas will go around the, uh, the body and, and come back to the same place, you know. So if the gas starts here, it's going to go around and then exit the same way that it came. Come here, exit over there. So it's so that's in a perfect environment. That's what happens. But you know, in air for air resistance and stuff, it's it's uh, it's diverted. You know, it kind of it doesn't it doesn't trace the body perfectly. In a vacuum, it would trace the body perfectly and apply no force. But in um, in the atmosphere, it gets carried off. And then that negative pressure there, it creates a negative pressure where the gas is pulled away from the body. And then it will pull um, the body that way. So that's why if you have air shooting at something, it goes backwards. is because it's creating a negative pressure behind it. And it's, that negative pressure is pulling it. But in a vacuum, the gas does not create any negative pressure zone. It just hugs the body perfectly. So there is no negative pressure pulling it back. So a gas particle in a vacuum cannot push a fan blade. It can't push anything. It can't push the rocket. Okay, It can't push the rocket. Very important. There we go. So that even more thoroughly disproves rockets in space. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, join me in... Um, Congratulating Chris on learning so much about this that he has become a master and he's begun innovating. Once you once you reach a certain level, once you've learned basically all there is out there to know about something, then you can start adding to it. You can start innovating. And that's where we all need to be. We all need to be on the cutting edge of what we do. So please join me in encouraging Chris to start making some videos of his own so we can hang out and talk and see what he comes up with. Thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Go do work.